Hello again everyone, thank you for joining us, I hope you're all well. Okay, so all the plants are taken care of for now, um, only a couple of them need harvesting. So I thought what we'd do, seeing as we haven't taken the beast out for a little while. Yeah, because we haven't taken the beast out for a little while, I thought we'd pop the one pack of french fries that we've got up to chef. Just leave it, oh no, he will be open actually. Yeah pop it up, see France is on the way, and uh, right, so I need to do that same hack with this, but because we've got quite a lot of stuff on board, I'm not going to do that today, so, or not just yet, anyway. Right, so let's um, pop down here. Anyway, I hope you're all well, I hope you're all having a good one. Oh. Wouldn't have been good, would it? Right. Yeah, I wasn't really ready to record, but um, yeah, all of a sudden I got half an hour spare, so I thought I'd pop on here. Hello, mate. You're right. Yeah. I didn't use to mind it. I really didn't. Right. Have a good one, mate. Yeah, I didn't mind splitting wood. I didn't have a fancy wood splitter. I used to just do it by hand, but it's quite therapeutic. Starting with a massive pile of wood. And then, uh, yeah, overloading my car to start with, with wood. A couple of you have seen that on uh, Discord. So in real life, yeah, and then going and sending it. And completely amazing. So basically, um, I got this contract and uh, it was outside of work. And I was really excited about it, so I bought some wood from someone who uh, couldn't manage it. Not woodland, I bought some actual wood. And uh, yeah, got it all processed and everything on the weekend. Load it all into my car at the time. And uh, yeah, went and delivered it. And the bloke just couldn't believe how much wood I was taking out of the back of my car. And it was all good quality as well. But yes. I didn't mind it at all, and it did actually give me a nice little chunk of money. Right. Back in a second, Leo. Right, I do need fuel today as well. Hello, mate. How's it going? You alright? Yeah, everything's good. Cheers. I'll have four of them. Nice. And nice. Right. Have a good one, mate. See you later. Yeah, and so in the last episode, I was a bit annoyed with um, one of the characters. I know that I joke around with um, Mel, but um, yeah, it's, it's just because she's the only woman on the game. But in real life, I'm not a dick. And I've never got a girlfriend by Wolf Whistling. Hello, fellas. Oh, you alright? Oh, bay, oh, bay, content to wear. Add some more, eh? Nice. Nice. Right. So, I'm going to buy a load of this. I'll do this on camera. Then I'll load them up off camera. Well, actually, what I'll do, there's that many. So, that many times seven. I'll be back in a moment. Okay, quickly fill this up. So it's Saturday today, so we can't buy any more pots. Perfect. Get that back on. Uh, oh, nice. I've got it on me. So I think what I'm going to do is uh, chuck this in the back. And then I'm going <clears> to <throat> go and park. Oh, I'm not going to leave Leo here. Wait, I'll go and park up, up the road save it a couple of times and then the boy race will be here. You alright Leo? Right, so I've put all the um, maple syrup in the back there. Sometimes the car... Oh, it's all the weight, isn't it? Ignore me, don't worry. So, can I still wheel... Oh, can I still wheel spin? Oh no, I've got traction control. 
Right, so I'm going to park here for a bit. And, uh, oh yeah, there's one more thing I want to do, actually. Right, so let's turn that off and break on. Right, so what I wanted to do, the reason why I bought so many, is because if I throw these up in the air, that's broken glass. And, uh, yeah, that's for being a dick, mate. And a lot of the time, when uh, people used to do stuff like that, I think they were actually um, homosexual. So uh, they were just trying to hide the fact. And it's fine to be homosexual. Right, Leo, I might as well take you for a walk, mate, while we're waiting. Right, <laughs> I'll see you lot in a few hours. Okay, so here they are. So, um, it might go silent in a second while I'm avoiding copyright. So, let's get this done. Oh, gents, you alright? Nice. Right, we'll say hello to all of them. So, I'm not going to be doing racing tonight. And, uh, we'll take this over there. Oh, gents, you alright? How's it going? Nice. Right, so that's um, a little bit of extra money. And uh, I do have that exhaust that I won in the race, but I'm not going to bother with it. Um, I don't think you can scrap it because it's a unique part. Uh, so what else have I got in here? Just poutine and quite a lot of maple syrup. Perfect. Right, so what we'll do now is... Uh, We'll go home. Actually, I didn't get the last reward. Because I accidentally clicked race rather than um, collect. Oh, I did claim it. Okay, so we've done all that. Perfect. Right, have a good one, lad. See you later. Okay, so now I'm going to drive back to the garage and um, do the same thing with this, but I'm gonna park in the other garage and then dump all the maple syrup out so that we know that we've got, yeah, lots in that one. Nice. Should we um, have some lights on? So years ago, um, where I used to live, so when I first started driving actually, I was driving along this country road once, and, well it wasn't a country road, it was a B road and um, yeah I uh, there was this junction where it was a kind of fork in the road and I needed to go off the um, main road and turn down so I just turned my lights off momentarily I always used to do it just turn my lights off momentarily to see if there was anyone coming and there wasn't so when I went to put them back on Nothing happened. Nothing happened at all. I've blown the fuse. And, um, my goodness. So, all I had was side lights. <laughs> and it was about, I don't know, two, three in the morning or something. And, uh, yeah, I just... It was an eventful journey. So, obviously, I had all the lights on the back. They were all fine. But, yeah, not having, um, headlights was quite bad. And back then, there was rumours going around that um well not rumors there was this thing where people said don't if someone's driving along without their lights on oh, i didn't do the thing did i why have i got my hazard lights on <clears throat> yeah if someone was driving along without their lights on don't flash them because it might be a gang thing so i probably saw two cars on the way back i was driving dead slow by the way and um i had my hazard lights on as well but um yeah no one was flashing me because it was that time where yeah some of you all know what i mean so basically if you flashed one of these cars the theory was they might turn around and try and beat you up or worse but anyway Right, so let's get this in the fridge. And I'm going to do exactly the same as I did in the last episode. So I'm going to park the Koenig in the garage. Shut it. 
drive out and then everything would have fallen through but we'll have the gear indicator and the speed as well so thanks for that again tim right so i'll do that off camera i'll see you in just a moment okay so just to show it working i know you all saw it in the last one so we'll close that up might as well close this as well and then uh wait so handbrake's off yeah so now we have the gear indicator in the external view perfect and all that stuff i'll pop it in reverse so we've got the reverse lights all that stuff that we had in the boot has fallen out nicely so now we know that we've got lots and lots of maple syrup here i'll put one more in the boot no i'll put two in the boot actually and then um yeah we know that we're all right momentarily and then just close that again perfect right yeah and after that um instant i always used to have um a pack of fuses but i was only very young yeah i was really young when i uh made that terrible mistake and everyone used to do it on that corner at night right because you could just maintain your speed i'm sure i didn't put the hazard lights on there we go nice okay oh i don't think i've got the energy to do it just yet and i hate doing it at night yeah so we're not going to worry about that for now we're doing all right okay leo's got his stuff right let's get some sleep at 5 30 sunday morning nice all right leo all right let's get you your treat oh fail there you go <sighs> absolute fail right looks like it's delayna for me and pause for you back momentarily right so i think that's all that watered nope i just saw one that's not no oh, sorry it's only a hump um right so let's quickly get this done and um i did notice a few of these were ready oh. okay done done right that's all of the infest mm. i haven't actually harvested this for ages yeah, so a few of them are ready. I'm going to wait until all of them are done, though. Because we're so close to getting electric. Well done, Jolly. The pro. Yeah, so close to getting electric now. Um. Right, let's have a poutine. Did I leave one in the truck? That's the question. No, I didn't. In the car? No. No, I remember taking it out now. That's a magnet tree. Can't eat that. Right. Okay. So it's harvest time. So what I'll do, I'll pop one of these over here in preparation. Because there aren't actually that many here, are there? Ready? actually saying that right so i'll do this off camera i'll be back in just a moment okay so i've harvested a few potatoes there's a few um french fries in the back of the truck but i thought what i'll quickly do is answer a few um questions so and i'm sorry if i slaughter any of these names but um a Stowrias said can i ask what program do you use to record your videos Yep, so it's OBS um, and it's free. So it's there's loads of different settings on there. And I think really most YouTubers use it um, to record. So I know Scapegoat does. Um, yeah, it's really good software. 
it's quite complicated but there's loads of guides online as to how to set it all up but um always do test recordings and try and get your settings right before you uh yeah waste loads of time and yeah get a really poor quality video out um so i'm really sorry about it so i'm just gonna say tia said been enjoying your videos new viewer so thank you very much um have you perhaps thought about playing the slavarian trucker um because it's similar so yes um this has been recommended a few times and i think it will probably be my next purchase um so yeah i have um seen that escape that goat did play it um and i think there's been an update recently so that might be um a future series and uh they're all the comments that are showing up on the screen and i've just noticed actually so tim who gave us the tip about um the gear indicator um he's also a scapegoat fan so nice one um it's always nice seeing goats in the chat and yeah huge respect for him and if if you don't know him it's definitely worth checking out his channel so uh yeah, very, very good. Very funny man. And Canadian as well. Right. And hugely more successful than me as well. So that says something, doesn't it? So he's got almost 50,000 subscribers now. So yeah, if you don't know of him, definitely, definitely check him out. Especially if you like this kind of game, the long drive, um, farming simulator. He's got a brilliant series on that. Anyway, right. So I'm going to plant these um, potatoes. And I'll see you all in just a moment. Okay, so I think that's all of them now. Um, it's certainly enough for now. So let's quickly um, pop them in and get another pack out. And I just quickly scrolled down and saw another excellent comment. So um, Boar Killed said, What you seem to miss is how classy um, Jason, the character, is on here. Um everyone is envious they all wear the same color shirt only a single color every day you rock pattern shirts in many colors it's not called the canadian tux tuxedo for no reason so um as a woodcutter myself um them shirts in, well them kind of jackets in the uk are called um played i think and uh so i've never worn one i do um think they're really good designs because they keep you warm and uh yeah and they're kind of robust and rugged as well and um but i've never had to wear one because when i work in the woods even in snow i'd always spend about 10 minutes getting everything set up wearing my coat and then after that i'll just work in a t-shirt and um so when i used to see people because it was trendy in the uk wearing them when i used to see people wearing them it kind of kind of annoyed me a bit because they were pretending to be <laughs> woodsmen and they they just weren't and uh, out of all the woodsmen that i've ever worked with none of them have had to wear them because um yeah obviously it's nowhere near as cold in the uk as it can get in canada so uh yeah but i've never heard it called the Can canadian tuxedo i really like that right <laughs> Okay, so we'll have a maple syrup. Nice. And the next batch of maple syrup that I buy, I'm just going to leave here again because um, for me, that works. Right, so we've got 26 grand and we've got this. So I might as well go into town again. Actually, no, there's going to be more potatoes harvest, isn't there? Bugger it. There will be. Ah... Uh, God, this is going to be such a big haul when all these are ready. I know that there's infested. Right, so that's another pack that we just got. So I'll do this one quickly. I'll do this one on camera. And also another thing, um, I do know that it's the end of the episode, but I do read for all the comments, I promise, but I just don't have time anymore to respond to any of them. So... 
or to most of them. So I am really sorry about that. I'm not an ignorant person. And even a few of my subscribers were surprised at how many comment or how long I managed to respond to every comment. But it's not wasted. But that's one of the reasons why I've never demanded that people leave comments because it does help the algorithm out but if I can't respond to them I think that's a bit of a crap move saying leave a comment um but yeah I really do appreciate all of them and none of them are uh yeah just left Right, so, thanks for joining us everyone, I really appreciate each and every view, and if you've liked this, please feel free to join us in the next one. So, cheers everyone, and bye for now.